So welcome to challenge number three. In this challenge, we're really looking at building on all those skills you already picked up. Uh, and it's more focused on the iPad just because um, it has some unique features in animation. So we want to animate a scene, whether it's a habitat or a season, and have an object or more than one object move through. So to do that, we're going to use the action tools under animate. One of the new ones that's just been added, create path, and then the line draw option that brings your drawings to life. In the end, it should look something like this. So just as we start, again, we're choosing that uh, regular background, but when I click on the three dots and go to document settings, I can actually customize my shape. So I'm making it a square because I'm posting it to Instagram. So I'm going into my photos, getting a picture, and locking it down as we've done before by tapping on the format tools and lock. That just means my picture won't move on me as I start to draw my character. So with the drawing tools uh, up, I have a variety of tools I can tap into, like the shape tool, that little paint bucket, or the crayon tool, and tons of different options. So we've looked at a lot of different animations. We've looked at the build-ins, and we've looked at the magic move and those slide transitions. For this, as we tap on the B uh, and look to animate, we're gonna focus on the action objects. The action pieces are really those movements within a slide. So this first one, create a path, really allows you to draw the path that the object will take, which is awesome for things like this. So I can look like the bee is buzzing around and I can layer. So using that plus sign, I can add another um, block of animations on. So I added that jiggle so that it looks like it's grabbing the nectar. Then I'm gonna add a rotate because I want it to look like the bee is leaving. So as I tap on that animation, I can actually fine tune the degree of rotation, the counterclockwise, clockwise direction piece. And then I'm going to add one more create path where I can draw the bee coming out of the scene. So on that one slide, I already have four actions to help tell my story. Again, because this is a movie, um, I want to make sure that all of my transitions and animations are set to go automatically and not on tap. But now that I'm ready, I'm going to duplicate my slides so that now I can add some rain. So I'm just using the drawing tools and a transparent crayon to add my raindrops to the page. And then by selecting them all, I'm going to merge them together so they're one object. And I'm going to use the line draw animation, which just draws anything that I've um, designed following my steps. On the last slide, I really just want to focus on spring. So I'm using a font that I like. And to find the color, I use the eyedropper and just find that perfect match from the pitcher and the cherry blossoms themselves. So now that my animations are all set, I'm just setting my times, making sure we're all ready to go because I need all of my transitions to be automatic and not wait for the tap. And my clip is ready. A little fast forward magic there. So now that I'm ready, I can tap on the three dots, export, and save my clip. What will you animate?